the jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George have idea to keep zebra safe. There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape, right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh. George no a proud of George. This is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? That you drone wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. I need a present. Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think, or you're dead! <laughs> Perfume? <laughs> Flowers? <laughs> oh, wait! Those are perfect! Two metric tons of flowers and a few hundred thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year! Just add in same day shipping and. How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni. You don't understand. My mother is, let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I going to get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it. No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing! Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, ape? George's busy! George? George! No need, yo! George right here! What? How? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too! George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey! Put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey, George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please! We need your help to stop Dr. Chicago! Now, George, this time we can just... <laughs> hey, Doctor! Now really no do bad stuff! <laughs> Wow, 
I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. I mean, really. Does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! Japan? You show us now? If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Aseto jungle no nyuga suru. Hey! That looked like. Kore yappa dabe da! Nisemon da! Okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain! George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <laughs> hey, stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay, people, time to raid the D list. Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! Oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. Ah. How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. <laughs> that tickled unexpectedly. Good news! George, back! <laughs> <laughs> George, think of playing this time. George, draw it in box. <sighs> what was I really expecting? Plan step one, defeat Doctor. <laughs> Get away from that, Cuspid! <laughs> <laughs> hey, George, no finish playing inside here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, George has bones again! And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then will return to sender for a full refund. Animals back 
act normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh, no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. George? He stalks the jungle, totally weirding out its inhabitants. He's terrified, yet also strangely hilarious. What manner of horrific beach ball-like creature could this be? It's George, everybody's favorite Jungle King. He's just come down with a bad case of acute puffitis. Didn't even know it was real until now. But hey, that's life in Crazy Town. <laughs> but how did George catch such a rare and ungainly disease? Was it a bite from that vampire puffer fish? Did he catch it from that overly affectionate Puffin? Or maybe that hostile tribe of Puffy Pillows? You got me, but I'll run some tests. Until then, stay away from anything, Char, and do not go to the beach. Come, George. Let's get you home to rest. No, way! A cook poop aritis no stop king of jungle! Who? George, prove he'd still be good king. Oh, George need breeze. Little did George suspect, but he was being watched by the all-knowing and stylish Council of Apes. The king is far too round to protect the jungle. We must take action. Time to summon the Steve. Yes, the Steve. I'm in mean, pocket. Can we go back to talking? No, we use telepathy because your breath smells like zebra cheese. That was me. Can't we just summon the Steve already? You wreck your own planet, Space Rocks. That this moment would never come. Steve, the jungle needs you. You are our only hope. I know. Turkey, turkey. Yeah! You need to rest, George. Yes, we have summoned the Steve to take over your duties while you heal. The Steve? The Steve? Wait. Who's Steve? And what you mean, take over? Oh. Yes, space diving is awesome. I would normally introduce myself, but... Oh, can I? This handsome devil is Steve. A jungle orphan like George, Steve was raised by apes but left the jungle when he was still young. Steve became the most successful person ever. Three countries, two continents, and the moon were named after him. Don't you mean the Steve? It's time to put the team back together, Ape. Ape and Steve know each other? Ape and I go way back. We're best friends and even better partners. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Don't you worry, George. Just think of me as a better version of you. Come on, Ape, there's a jungle to rumble. Steve, I really do. No, George King. George Fine. George, show everyone. Uh. Oh, turkey, turkey. Glorious. <laughs> Just like I remember. You're not upset about. <laughs> Ape, please, do I look like someone with a burning desire for revenge? My only burning desire is to protect this jungle. But first, 
Time to take this place to the cleanest. Steve, stop! You'll flood the entire jungle! But I thought... Much better. Uh -oh. That the old girl could use a little sparkle. It was Steve. He destroyed everything. We have to stop! And replaced it with this. Now I can charge triple. Just showing my appreciation for the fine work you do, Doc. <laughs> Serves me right for standing too close. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Steve? Hmm, where did everybody go? Hello? 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 Steve, what's he uh, done to? Steve! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you scaly rascal! Steve flew this water park in just for the day! Can you believe it? Ursula, split that! Steve, good king! Tell George that Steve bad king! Tell George that animals want George back! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Steve's doing a fine job. Stop <laughs> bad noise! Oh, yes, Steve very good. Maybe he should be king. That's just it. He was supposed to be. Years ago, I trained Steve in the ways of the jungle. He was smart, he was brave, he was strong, but he was also a jerk. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was my fault that I had failed Steve as his mentor, until we discovered he'd been born with an angry weasel for a heart. I didn't know what to do. But then came the great orphan storm of 99. That's when I found George. And I knew he'd be a good king. Plus, the council always had a weakness for the newest fads, like taco manicures or zebra shoes. And you couldn't get any newer than George. <laughs> Steve was forgotten. Until now. But it appears he's not the weasel-hearted man I thought he was. George, Ape's second choice? George, I brought you to the council because I believe there's more to a jungle king than being a fantastic, beloved, effective, handsome, natural leader. That does sound quite weak when I say it out loud. No, no! George proved that he good king and first choice! George saved baby lions! Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha! Oh, now, save your applause! I only did what any other amazing jungle king would do. <laughs> now you can applaud. Steve, best king ever. George, go. Anyone here, George? Please, you're making me blush. George, leave now. Forever. George? George! George! I found out why George got sick. Someone hit him with his blowgun dart, and it's poison with pufferfish puffin pillow venom. Oh, come on. Like, we're supposed to remember you finding that thing? It was like 10 years ago, and I wasn't even there. Oh. <gasps> Steve! Hold on. Steve hit George with that? From space? He was always good with the blowgun. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> so, you finally figured it out. Ape was right. I totally want revenge. I mean, duh. Of course you'll all suffer for tossing me aside. What did you do with George? Besides utterly destroy his self-worth and make him leave in disgrace. 
What did you expect from a man with a weasel for a heart? You think I'm good with a blowgun? I'm even better at networking. Get it? <laughs> ah, uh, this good net! Your treachery will never succeed! I know your secret. Without your bananas, you are nothing. Nothing! Steve, this was your home. Think about what you're doing! Oh, I have. For years. Do you think this kind of revenge happens by accident? Now, who's going in first? Ah! Oh! oh my! <laughs> Pandora! George! Let George friends go! You think you're a match for the Steve? I'm worth trillions! I have my own spaceship! I've even walked on the surface of the Steve! <laughs> Deep better spaceman, better looking, maybe even better king, but George better pressy ball! George! No, no! Wait! Anybody bring Grace? What was Steve's fate? He fell in lava. Or maybe not. George not pay attention. That's dramatically convenient. George, even though you thought you were worthless, you returned and saved your friends. Actually, George come back after George saw scary men in jungle. <laughs> Welcome back, king of the jungle. <laughs> I guess hugs will just have to wait till you're better. <laughs> Waiting for sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Good.